Hello everyone, it's Felicity here from Sanisa Tarot, the place for immersion and healing and gain wisdom from tarot to navigate your life. This is June tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius. For personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. And so now let's look at the general energy for you in June. And um, it feels like there is a little bit of limitation and uh, out of control. Things are out of your control and you are not in control of certain things. And um, it challenges your masculine energy, whether you are male or female. It challenges your masculinity, your masculine energy. It means that maybe your ego got challenged, maybe um, it's time to look at how you can let go of the ego, how you can let go of the talks of your ego. And um, it's also about uh, your self, how you project yourself towards the world and how the world views you. So um, it's about your individual self and uh, your your mind and and also it's about um, things are not within your control and surrendering to the to the plans of the universe and there may be uh, a little bit of a physical journey going on there may be a soul journey it feels like uh, before you reach the destination of this soul journey or physical journey, you will not know what is there waiting for you. Okay, so um, at the beginning, maybe you feel uh, uncertain, maybe you feel a lot of fears. There are a lot of fears surrounding you in June. And it is because on the way towards your destination, you are not sure what is in the destination. And because of this uncertainty, you have a lot of fear. And because on the way to the, to, on the way towards this uh, destination, you are not in control. It's like uh, your emotions is being pushed by a group of people and maybe your spirit guides, maybe your soul, your higher self, maybe angels are carrying you towards certain stage of your life. And because you are asked to let go of your ego and let go of control. And and it it takes a lot of faith really. It takes a lot of faith for you to trust the universe, to trust your angels, spirit guides, all right? It's not going to be an easy journey. It's because emotions will go up and down and you are not in control of the direction of this journey. And it, it, it feels like um, you are being tied up and you are being carried to somewhere you do not want to go. But it's because you are full of fear and your higher self, the universe, the angels are saying to you that now it's time to face your fear. Now it's time to go to a certain stage of your life, to go to a new direction, to go to um, a destination. Maybe you you did not set this destination. You did not uh, ask for it. But then your soul, your higher self knows better. And so it's time to let go of the ego, let go of control. And it's emotionally, it's not going to be easy. And even though your your spirit guides, your higher self or universe trying to uh, calm your emotions and 
even though the external environment is very calming, it's um, very uh, full of peace, you yourself is not full of peace. And so um, you have to adjust your emotions. You have to adjust the thinking. thinking. Um, so do not uh, give a, a judgment so quickly, too soon. Do not uh, make a judgment too soon in this month. And uh, when it comes to the area of career, again, you may feel a lot of fear and maybe you get a piece of news, information, maybe someone is coming at you from far away. Uh, when you look at this information, this news or this someone at a distance, you are not so sure whether this person or this piece of information is going to help you or hurt you. And you have a lot of fear. Maybe the information, maybe this person is going to help you. And because uh, at the same time, this person of the information um, seems to be able to hurt you because they have the means to hurt you. They have certain uh, methods to hurt you. And so when you look at this person or the information at a distance, you really are full of fear and, and full of uncertainty. And, and even though, um, so uh, it, it's, it's good not to make a quick judgment. Otherwise, you're going to put yourself in a very fearful state. And, and, and also, uh, when this information, when this person is trying to help you, there may be a chance that you may get hurt. Maybe your ego may get hurt and maybe your emotions may get hurt. And um, so uh, even though the information, the person is willing to help you and you have to help yourself as well. Uh, you have to find the ground to stand on. Otherwise, you just keep falling onto the ground, all right? So uh, learn from this experience. Uh, people can help you. Information can help you just once. But then if you repeat the pattern again and again, and you do not help yourself. And next time, there may not be someone there to help you, all right? So try to learn to help yourself as well. And also, um, it's about faith and trust. Also, it's about taking risk. Um, um, taking a risk, you know, when you offer, when you are offered the help, when someone come to you and offer the help and you have to take a risk because you're not sure whether uh, this person is helping you or just using you, all right? At the beginning, no one is so sure. Um, it, this month, everything happens at the beginning and you will never know what is at the end, at the, at the destination until you walk to the very end, all right? So this month, there's a lot of uncertainty, so you have to have faith and trust and, and eliminate fears and uh, taking risk as well in your career. And of course, when this personal information is uh, helping you, there may be a chance that you may get hurt. So take risk and assess whether it's worth the risk or not, okay? Um, try not to make a judgment too soon and yes things may not be very clear until you walk to the very end of your destination and when it comes to the area of how you can connect with others on the emotional level it seems that you may get to travel a bit maybe someone will visit you maybe someone will travel far to visit you and it's very good to keep a balance and to lay the foundation of the friendship and not to jump into a uh, conclusion or judgment too soon and keep a balance and not to compete and compare. It may be, there may be some elements of uh, competing or comparing. Maybe there's some kind of uh, things that you, you 
both feel passionate about. So there may be an uh, element of uh, competition or comparison. And uh, also it's about uh, taking things slowly. It's about uh, uh, protecting yourself at the beginning and slowly, slowly and, and see how the friendship, uh, how the interaction unfolds. And uh, if you take care of the competition and comparison, there may not be uh, argument, there may not be something uh, unpleasant happen, but if you, uh, both of you are very uh, fiery energy, carry the fiery energy, there may be a chance that uh, you may end up in argument. So uh, try to balance your emotions. When it comes to the area of how you connect with others in the private setting, friends, family, or partner, and it seems that uh, you are waiting for the harvest and uh, also uh, you are also um, contemplating and feeling a bit of disappointed about certain things. So also pay attention to uh, what you plan this month and if you have planned something in the previous years or month and it feels like uh, the harvest uh, that you are expecting may not be exactly what you are expecting, all right? So there may be some kind of adjustment, adjust your emotion, adjust your expectation as well. It's also about paying attention to the relationship and not to jump into relationship too soon and try to see whether the other person is indeed single or in a committed relationship and um, uh, if you are in a committed relationship maybe you will feel a little bit disappointment in your relationship and you will try to reassess, re-evaluate re re this relationship and it feels like uh, um, try to pay attention to any signal of the uh, uh, someone getting in the way or trying to get involved in your committed relationship or not and if you know that uh, in your committed relationship there's someone else and uh, you may uh, have a struggle and see whether to get out of this relationship or try to solve this issue um, if you're single uh, when you meet someone new it's good to really take things slowly. Um, if you have been involved uh, in, if you have involved in some kind of uh, uh, toxic relationship, imbalanced relationship, uh, this month things are sending to you and you will realize uh, what you have planned, the seeds that you have planted before and you will reap some kind of results of the seeds that you have planted in the previous years or previous months. All right, so um, it's time to heal from the hurts and wounds. Um, there may be some kind of ending and once you, you end something, it's good to spend time alone and heal from the wounds first rather than jumping into a new relationship right away. Uh, if you seek distractions from the wound, from the feelings of getting hurt, you will only uh, invite another person who will press the button again until you see the wounds that are not healed and take action and be aware of your emotions until you heal the emotions, wounds, you will only attract the people who press your button, trigger your emotions. And so it's, it's good. It's better not to seek distractions by jumping into a real new relationship um, unless you are healed, all right? So see you next month. I hope that you uh, enjoy this journey. It's not going to be easy, but then your guides and your soul, your higher self, the universe know better than your human 
lead to ego. All right, so let go of control, trust, have faith, and see you next month. Bye.